right now I'm enrolled in Hartford Community College and uh, I'm going to be going to UMBC at the end of July. I'm only going for certificates right now, so uh, I'm going into the cybersecurity program. Well, I originally started out at, you know, from the time I was about 20 at the VA hospital. And, uh, I got an opportunity to go to Bethel and Steel in 1996, and pay was significantly different. So, of course, I, I, made, I made the choice to go. I left the federal government to go there, and who knew that was going to be a mistake. Started out on a production line. I went to the crane department, became a crane operator for the bulk of my time there. That was my role when the place went under. I've never not worked in my whole life, so it's uh, it's definitely a change. I mean, I, I kind of like the time off right now, but getting a little worried. I mean, you know, it's the only job offers I'm getting is manufacturing work, and it's kind of like not the type of work I want to get involved with, but it's what I'm really kind of stuck with right now. Other than that, it hasn't really affected the home life at all. I mean, financially, I guess, I guess briefly, I mean, I I had to burn through my 401k, so we struggle from time to time, but overall, it's, it hasn't really been that bad of a struggle. I somewhat saw the writing on the wall back when we were Severstall, which was the company before RG. I thought Severstall was going to go bankrupt, so what I did was I wound up taking out a lot of my 401k, and because I was getting really worried. And then come to find out, a little while later, Severstall wasn't going bankrupt, and they wound up finding a new owner. I was like, "Wow, did I make a mistake? I just raided my 401k to prepare myself and." So I was a little disappointed at the time because I thought maybe I made a big blunder. We were mismanaged. I mean, there was no doubt about being mismanaged. We really struggled, especially when RG took over. We, I don't recall a, not one good time period with RG. I think they owned us for a little over a year. And throughout that period, we were constantly fighting to keep our head above water. And we worked for basically a 100-year-old company. I mean. When I left the federal government and came to Bethlehem Steel, I plan on retiring here. I mean, I <laughs> who would have thought a hundred-year-old company that's been a mainstay here in this in, in this city would have came to this? You know? I'm going to school now to do what I want to do, hoping after I get the IT education behind me that I can land in a IT-related field, preferably one that I would really want. When you put out resumes with companies, right now they want experience, they don't care. Education's a, a plus. You always have to have the education, but they want it backed up with experience. And I, I can't seem to break in to get any of that experience. You, you gotta get lucky because if you're coming out of college, you're, you're gonna have a degree but you're not gonna have experience. And every ad I'm looking at on Career Builder or MWE Worksite or any type of one ad, they all are asking two to three years experience. And it's like, if you don't have that experience here, it's almost like you don't have a chance. In an economy like this, in a market that we're experiencing today, you have to get lucky. I mean, it's. I know people who have been hired from our plant that have no education, only have had no work in their life. And then I know people who have degrees and are very smart, very intellect, and still don't have a job. Right now, I want to get into cybersecurity. Not only do I like cybersecurity, but I'm making a prediction within myself by hearing what I hear that that's where the IT field's heading. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing IT fields out there right now. And I figure because it's fast growing, because of the unsettled world around us and the terrorism and 
people hacking into computers. I feel there'll always be a need for that. And I feel with that being said, just that alone, that's the security I need. So I'm looking at this as a positive.